Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick Nanji. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about two shows today, both Home Improvement and The Cosby Show. Why am I talking about those two? Well, they're both classic TV shows and they are very spectacular, popular shows. One, a bit controversial with what is happening, but we're here just to focus on the actual show and the behind the scenes production information that I think you will absolutely enjoy. So don't, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel and to see more videos like this where we look at classic TV shows and movies as well. Now, Home Improvement, one of my favorite shows ever. Let's start with season one because I think you're gonna get absolutely blown away when you find this out. There's an episode called Wild Kingdom. It's one where Tim is, we learn, afraid of snakes, and there's a snake that sneaks into his home and unfortunately pops out in the wrong place, and he's freaked out. He's super freaked out. The boys around him, his sons, are trying to encourage him. Some are trying to you know, give him a little bit of a hard time, but it's a funny episode, and one where we get to see the basement, the Taylor's basement. And I'll point out a few things to you and how at that time, and even today, they redress a set. Making sets is actually a very quick process. You can very quickly change things. A lot of the times when you see wood, things aren't made of wood. When you see brick, things aren't made of brick. They're made out of very lightweight, very malleable, foldable materials that they can easily exchange and within a couple hours change the whole set or change something. So let's start with the Cosby Show and look at one of their episodes from season six where you can see the basement of the Huxtables. Now, when you look at this scene, you will notice some very interesting things. You will notice how the entrance to the basement is on the left side of the scene or on the left side of the room, top left side, and then there's some stairs coming down. The stairs come um, as we see the doors opening. There is a top platform and then stairs descending and then there's a quick sharp turn to the right, that is our right, my right hand if you're looking at the screen, and the basement continues from that side there. Also look on the back wall of the actual basement where the Huxtables are, the Huxtable basement, you will see that there's like an opening, a little bit of like an alcove there made of brick. Now remember, if you see brick here and then you see uh, another material drywall somewhere else, that doesn't mean that's not the same set. That's easily changeable. That's called redressing a set. I know a lot of you who work in TVs and movies watch my videos, and so you can advocate for this as well. It is something that they do so that you don't notice that it's the same set, but you will notice that the major fixings, the backbone of the set is what actually counts. Everything else, you can redress a little bit, change, take out a couple beams, a little bit of railings, and boom, you got a completely different set according to some eyes. And so let's look at the Taylor basement. If you look, very, very similar. You see that as Tim descends down, the entrance to the basement is also on the left side. You see they have this gag with this beam on top. Remember this episode of Home Improvement was after the Cosby Show, so they added that beam there. The stairs, again, there's a top platform. The stairs come down and then make a quick right turn. There's also that um, little opening in the back. It's a little different. They closed it up a little bit, so it's not exactly the same, but that's all really that you need. Everything inside, the materials, the, the, the water heater, everything else, that is easily changeable. They could change that up in a couple hours. They could take off some things that are messed up, rotting, old, whatever they might be, or just change it up to redress the set. You always have to redress by adding plants, by adding different colors, by repainting it, by moving something. But if you notice, the same backbone, the same skeleton, the same structure of the set remains. So did you ever know that the Cosby Show basement and the Home Improvement basement are the same? Remember, these aren't real homes. These are sets in a Hollywood studio. And so they borrow them from each other. When they use one, they use it for another show, and then they probably use it for another show. But note that the home improvement basement later on changed, so they used a different set to accommodate different scenes and so forth. So keep that in mind. I just wanted to give you this video to give you a heads up so now you can watch these episodes yourselves and compare them. It's super, super fun. We'll see you all next time. Thank you so much for the support, as always. And don't forget, everyone, 
be hopeful. Thank you to all my supporters, especially my diamond tier patrons, Christopher K, John O, David D, Sally N, Jerry D, Vito L, Citizen Kane, Jennifer P, and Kevin K. If you wanna be on this list, make sure to check out the link in the description. It's all of you patron members who make my channel possible. Thanks.